This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? We got a lot of Sega news, so let's get to work. Welcome to the Sega family, Rovio. We're so thrilled to celebrate Rovio becoming a member of the Sega group. Get ready for exciting adventures ahead. So yes, as you're seeing this artwork right here by Sega uh, themselves, this is awesome. So now you got this collaboration right here with the Angry Birds and the Sonic the Hedgehog series, which is fantastic. You know, a lot of you may not be, not have been aware that, yeah, that Sega did acquire Robio, but the deal wasn't finalized. It was just, you know, you still got to go through a lot of pro processing here and there, but the, the deal is already 100% official already. That's fantastic right there. So right off the bat, you know, the possibilities are endless. Where does Angry Birds go from here? You know, all oh, there's plenty you could do. You, you know, you're not, you know, with Angry Birds, you're not only restrict, you're not restricted at all when it comes to Sonic the Hedgehog characters. You can use other Sega IPs to do crossover series and vice versa. All I know is that Sega's mobile game department, I mean, to them, this is a smart business decision because you got to realize that Angry Birds still makes a lot of money. And now that they have the exclusive rights to it. They own it, basically. They can do whatever they want with it and do their own crossover series. It's going to generate a lot of money. And having Sega own them is even better because at least you know they're owned by a company that people actually care, people actually trust. Not some heartless third-party company that's going to try to milk uh, milk the series dry and trying, to, and trying to basically sell you nothing but, you know, so many microtransactions to uh, make the game completely pay-to-win. Or loot boxes like other companies do to get ahead. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome right here. Sega and Rovio are finally working together. So we're going to get, obviously, the Sonic Dash crossover. Maybe we're going to get Angry Bird models for Sonic Forces Speed Battle. Maybe that might be one of the surprises we're going to get. Again, Speed Battle has so many characters as it is already, thanks to the, thanks to, uh, the Sonic Prime series. And it's safe to say that we're going to get also models of the Sonic and Friends characters, uh, not only for Sonic Dash, but also for Son Sonic Forces Speed Battle. I mean, they'll try to scale down those models to add a to make them playable, to have their chibi appearances in. And, and it's safe to say that you might have Angry Bird models in that game, too, because why not? If you, can make, if you can make Eggman playable in Speed Battle and his gameplay is pretty solid, why not have the Angry Birds be playable and have their unique special abilities? You know, that's pretty dope right there. And the Angry Birds franchise will be better off in the hands of Sega than anybody else. Let's be real here. I mean, the crossover series is going to be fantastic. There's potential to even make a movie about this on both of them, actually. When you think about it, you already have the rights to it. So that's pretty dope right here. Everyone, let me know what you think. Let me know what the possibilities are for Angry Birds and uh, Sega finally, you know, being merged together. Let me know what y'all think, and I gotta go. Peace out.